Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make this interactive vertical scrolling presentation that animates between every page directly in PowerPoint. So let's jump straight into it. As usual, we'll start with a blank presentation. So we'll go File, New, Blank Presentation, right click, Layout and choose Blank. I'm going to create a black background. So we'll right click on the background, choose Format Background, then go to Solid Fill and select Black. Firstly, we're going to create the content for each page and that's going to be in one long page on this slide. So I'll hold down control and zoom out slightly. Then click on rectangle, click anywhere, make sure it's snapped to the top left and then drag it out to the right and down to the bottom. For this, I'm going to choose no outline and I'm just going to quickly paste in the colors that I'm going to use for this. Then I'm going to click on this blue square Go to Gradient Fill, drag off the middle gradient stop that I don't want, click on the one on the left, and then go to the eyedropper and select my first colour, then click on the one on the right, eyedropper and select my second colour. While the shape is selected, I'm going to quickly paste in my text, size it up by pressing Ctrl and right square bracket, then go to the Size and Properties, and under the Margin Size, I want the left to be 10 and the right to be 10. That's my layout for page one. Now I'm going to quickly duplicate that to make the other pages. So I'll hold down control and use the mouse wheel to zoom out, move my colors out the way, then click on this and press control and shift and then drag it down. For these colors, I want the one on the left to be purple and the one on the right to be the third color in my palette. Then I can type in my new text and do the same again quickly three and four. So hold down control and shift and drag down, quickly change the colors to whichever you want that looks good. And there's my final slide. And I'll just quickly update the text. And now we're all done. I find it easier to select all of these and control G to group them. Now let's create our other pages and then we'll create the navigation. So firstly, we'll go to the slides on the left, right click and choose new slide and then control D and control D. So that will create the three other slides that we're going to jump to. Go back to slide one. I'm going to zoom in to my top slide and create the navigation. For this, I used a circle so you can click on oval in the shapes menu and click anywhere on the page and I made this white with no outline and 0.8 by 0.8 size. And if you hold down control and shift you can copy this and control Y or equally space another duplicate. Now we can create the links so I'll right click on this and choose link. This one slide one. Right click link slide two, right click, link, slide three, and then finally, right click, link, and choose slide four. I'm just going to select all of these and move them down slightly so they're equal on the page for this. That's looking good. Now we can copy this content onto the other pages. And the first thing I'll do is make the background black. So I've selected all the slides, go to solid fill and choose black. Now I can click on the content, control C, Go on to slide two and control V. Now if I zoom out, all I want to do is move this up until it's in the right place for page two, which is just there. Now I can align it to the page by going to arrange, align, align center. That is now page two. Control V to paste it into slide three and again, we move it up so that page three is the bit visible. Which is there and align it to the center. And then control V for page four. We can quickly do this by doing arrange align bottom. Then we have our four pages that we can actually go between. I now want to select all of our navigation buttons, control C on those, then go to page two, paste them in, page three, paste them in, page four, 
paste them in. And I'm just using page up and page down to switch between those. Now we have our navigation buttons in, so whenever we click on those, it will go straight to that slide. But now let's add the clever bit in, which is using morph to animate between them. And this is as simple as pressing Control A, going to transitions and choosing morph. I'm also going to set the duration to one second because I like the speed of that. So if we play now, whichever one you click on, it will animate between them. So you can go down incrementally or even jump from any page to any other page. And now as a bonus, I'm going to show you how you can create this little circle with a ring that highlights when you're on each page. And for this, I want a similarly sized circle, but this one will have an outline, which is the color of the page that you're on, no fill, and the outline will be one and a half point. And I'm also going to go to the effects section, choose glow, select white, and set that to five point. Now I can change it to the size, same size as the circle, 0.8 by 0.8, and then align it over the top of the circle, and you can adjust it with the cursor keys. Now I can press Ctrl C, go onto page two, press the cursor keys to bring it down to where I want it, give it the outline of the color of the page ROM, Control V again for page three. And finally, Control V for page four. Bring it all the way down. Now when we play, this will animate automatically between the slides. I notice the circle is a tiny bit to the left, so you can always pick it up and make some fine adjustments. Just make sure you're selecting the ring you want to adjust and not the circle underneath. And then you can use the cursor keys to finally adjust it to wherever you want it to go. And there we go, a really good way of adding some interaction and movement into any presentation. If you'd like to download the source files for any of my recent tutorials, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.